today we're trying out a new New York City cookie flavor because we're almost out of our s'mores and what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the walnut chocolate chunk in stock but then kind of rotate through new flavors so we're gonna do a small test batch today with four cookies it's the smallest batch we can do with one egg otherwise you're gonna have to half an egg so that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna chop up rough chop some macadamia nuts and then we're gonna get mixing that looks pretty good First we're going to add our coconut oil. We use coconut oil instead of butter here. We're going to beat it with some coconut sugar. So we don't use white sugar, we use natural sugar. So coconut sugar is our choice for these guys. Blend it up. Are dries. So because we're gluten-free, we use a mix of different gluten-free flours. We've got some tapioca, some millet, and some sorghum for this one. And then this is our baking soda, cream of tartar, salt, and xanthan. We make our own baking powder from scratch here so that it's corn-free. So we have to use our own cream of tartar with some baking soda. That's why there's cream of tartar. It's actually a component in baking powder. trick is to not mix it too much when it starts to come to come together like that kind of crumbly we're gonna stop it and that's when we're gonna add our mix in so we're gonna add some white chocolate chips they're vegan white chocolate chips because everything we do here is dairy free we try to do everything as much possible vegan as well but something that's tricky like these NYC cookies you can't get that texture that we're looking for. In the future, we'll try and veganize them, but for now, they do have egg, but they are dairy free. Let it come together, that looks good. We don't want to over mix it. Look at that, that looks awesome. Now we need a weigh scale. NYC cookies are really big. We're looking for 150 grams. we get there. Let me give it a chocolate the chip. There we go. And then just roughly make it a ball. You don't want to press it too hard. There we go. Into the freezer for a few hours and then we'll bake it off and try it. All right, so it looks like this batch is only gonna make three 150 gram cookies instead of four. I'm gonna make a note of that so when we scale up, we know what we're looking at. There we go, ready for the freezer. Time to do some dishes. Turn out. 
22 minutes till we get to see how they turn out. All right, let's see. Oh, it's really gooey. So this cookie ended up being really gooey in the middle. I think next time we bake it, it actually needs a couple extra minutes. But the flavor was really nice. We had backed off on the white chocolate chips because the first time we got a funny sort of lingering aftertaste that you sometimes get with white chocolate. So we backed off on that and added more macadamia nuts. Um, and we also backed off a bit on the sugar too because with the white, white chocolate, it ended up a little sweet. So I think this one is a winner. And we'll move forward with this. You'll see it at the bakery soon. Just have to... Uh, tweak the baking time.